Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about variables in PHP. Now, a lot of times in our PHP programs, we're gonna be dealing with all sorts of data and information. And a lot of times, we're gonna to wanna to be able to maintain and keep track of that data in our programs. And we can actually use variables in order to do that. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys the basics of working with variables and using variables. And we're gonna kind of get up to speed with uh, what variables are. So down here in my PHP tags, I have this very simple program set up. And it's basically just um, echoing out a bunch of text onto the screen. So it's saying that once was a man named George, he was 70 years old, he really liked the name George, but didn't like being 70. So this is basically like a little story that I wrote and all this program does is write that story out onto the screen. So you can see over here on my browser, it just is printing out that story. So everything works. This is a valid program, right? Um, you'll notice that it's, it's very simple, but let's say that inside of my story, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I think I wanna change the character's name. Well, in order to do that, I can basically just go into my story and every place the character's name is mentioned, I can just change it. So let's say instead of being named George, I want the character to be named John. So I'm gonna come over here and we'll change this to John and we can change this down here to John as well. So now I've successfully updated the character's name, right? So every place in the story where the character's name was mentioned, I updated it to the new value. And let's say that I'm looking at my story again and I'm thinking, hmm, I think I also wanna change the character's name. Well, I could basically do the same thing, right? I could head down here and everywhere the character's age is mentioned, I can change it. So why don't we change the character's age to be a little younger, maybe 35, right? So I'll change it up here and then I'll also change it down here. So now I've updated the character's name and I've updated the character's age inside of my program. So now if we were to refresh the page, you'll see that all of that information got updated in the story, right? So, so that works perfectly, right? It makes sense. Um, but here's the problem though. In order for me to change the character's name and for me to change the character's age, I had to go through and manually modify both of those attributes, right? I had to manually go in here and change the name in both of these spots and I had to do the same thing for the age. And this is fine for a story with four lines, right? But imagine that this story was like hundreds of lines and we mentioned the character's name hundreds of times and we mentioned the character's age hundreds of times. Well, having to go in and manually change their name or manually change their age if I wanted to update it would be extremely tedious and difficult, right? And I would probably make a mistake somewhere, you know, where I wouldn't catch it. And this is actually a situation where we can use something called a variable. So a lot of times in our programs, we're gonna have certain pieces of information or certain data values that we wanna keep track of and we want to sort of organize. And in this case, we have two pieces of information, the character's name and the character's age. So what we can do is we can actually take these values and we can store them in something called a variable. And a variable is basically just a container where we can store pieces of information in our program. So I could create a variable and then I could store the character's age and the character's name inside of it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna create two variables, one for the name and one for the age. And I'm just gonna come over here and right above this echo instruction, I'm gonna make a new instruction. And basically we're gonna create a variable, which again is just a container. Now anytime you wanna create a variable in PHP, the first thing we have to do is type in this dollar sign. So whenever you type a dollar sign like that, it's basically telling PHP that you wanna create a variable. So after the dollar sign, we wanna name our variables. So remember, a variable is just a container where we're storing a piece of information. So what I wanna do is I wanna give this variable a descriptive name, which will tell me what piece of information is stored inside of it. So in our case, I'm gonna call this character name because it's gonna store the character's name. So I'm just gonna say character name. And now that I've given this a name, I wanna give this a value. So I can just say character name and I can just say equals and I'm gonna make these quotation marks and I'm just gonna type out the character's name, John. And then like always, I'm gonna put a semicolon there to end off the instruction. And so down below here, we also wanna make another variable. So we also, in addition to storing the character's name, John, we also wanna store their age. So once again, I'm just gonna type a dollar sign and now I'm gonna call this variable, character age 
and I'm gonna set this equal to the character's age, which is gonna be 35. So you'll notice over here, when I wanted to store text inside of a variable, I had to use these quotation marks. And when I wanted to store a number inside of a variable, I could just type out the number like that. And that's kind of different ways that we can store information. So now that we've stored the character's name and the character's age inside of variables, what I can do is I can actually replace every instance of the character's name and age inside of the story with that variable. And you'll see in a second why that can be useful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to my story and um, over here, for example, we're typing out the character's name. So instead of having to type out John, what I could actually do is I could get rid of this and inside of this little string of text here, I could just type a dollar sign and now I can type in the name of the variable that I wanna place inside of here. So I could just type out character name and you'll see that this is actually getting highlighted a different color. And basically when we put this dollar sign and we type out the variable name here in this text, so in between these quotation marks, this is telling PHP that we wanna insert the value that's stored inside of this variable into our little print statement here. So now if I was to come over here and I was to refresh the web page, you'll see that we're still printing out there once was a man named John, but we didn't actually type out John. Remember, all we did was we just included this variable name over here in the story. And it was actually able to show up over here on the website. And so what PHP did was it saw that we wanted to include the value of the character name variable inside of here. And it went up, grabbed the value and basically just inserted it here into our story. So we can actually do that now for every occurrence of the character's name. So I could come down here and I could do the same thing. So I'm gonna say character name and we can do the same for the character's age. So down here we have character's age. So I'm just gonna type in character age and then over here we can do the same thing. So I'm just gonna do character age. And so now, even though I'm not physically typing out 35 and John, these are still gonna show up in my story. So you'll see over here, we get the same exact thing. It's still using the name John, and it's still using the age 35. So what's useful about these variables is that they allow us to store and manage these different values in our programs, these different pieces of information that we're using in our programs. So let's say that now I wanted to update the character's name instead of having to go through and manually change it in all the places in my story, I can actually just come up here and I can modify it. So let's say I wanted to change the character's name to Tom. Well, I could just type Tom over here in one spot. So I changed the variable in one place and now it's gonna automatically be updated throughout my story. So now when I refresh my program, you'll see instead of using the name John, it's using the name Tom. I could do the same thing for the age. So why don't we make him 80 years old. And now Tom is gonna to be 80 years old over here in my program. So that is a really awesome way that we can maintain and keep track of the different pieces of information in our programs. And really the point is that I can use this character name variable and then if I wanna change the value, I just change it up here when I assign it a value. And another cool thing that we can do with these variables is we can actually modify them throughout our program. So let's say that halfway through this story, I wanted to change the character's name. What I could do is I could actually come down here and I'm gonna make a new line. And let's say halfway through the story, we'll change the character's name. I could just say dollar sign character name and I could just give this a new value. So I could just give this the value of like Mike, for example. And now halfway through our story, the character's name is gonna change from Tom to Mike. So you'll see over here, the first part of the story, it's using the name Tom. And the second part of the story, it's using the name Mike. And basically you can just update these variables as you go through your program. You can like change their values and, and do different things with them. So that's kind of the basics of variables. Variables are containers where we can store different pieces of information that we wanna keep track of in our program. Now you'll notice that not all pieces of information are gonna get stored in variables. So for example, I didn't store like the word once 
or the word man inside of a variable, right? I stored the pieces of information that I was using multiple times throughout my program, like the character's name and the character's age. These are both values that I could store about the character and therefore I put them in variables in order to make them easier to use. And then whenever I wanted to access those values, I just referred to the variable's name instead of having to like physically type out the value. So that's really the basics of variables. And you'll see over here, we're able to um, store like text inside of variables. We're also, we're also able to store numbers inside of variables. And there's also some other different types of data that we can store and represent and work with in PHP. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys all about the different data types that we can represent in PHP. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.